One family says they are grateful to be alive after the garage caught fire. The Montgomery Fire Marshal said that the source of this fire was a toy battery. KPRC 2's Roll One Logan live near Pinehurst after speaking with someone who was in the house when this fire started. Roll One. Yeah, Daniela, the fire marshal telling us that one thing you do not want to skip cost in while we're in this holiday shopping season is the type of battery you are using for these devices. They say you want to make sure it is the proper one to prevent disaster. And I ran and got my, my daughter up. Jennifer Hewlin recalls preparing for bed last night when she heard a noise but couldn't figure out where it was coming from. Then I heard it again, like another noise, like somebody was trying to get in the garage or something. So I woke him up, said, hey, I heard something. And about that time, he heard it. We walked to the where the garage door is on the inside of the house. And before I got there, I could smell, I could smell smoke. I said, there's a fire. The garage in flames. The Montgomery County Fire Marshal said the lithium battery to this Jeep is the source. In a statement to KPRC 2, he said, quotes, the homeowner had purchased off-brand replacement batteries from two different overseas manufacturers over the past couple of years, and that may have been a contributing factor to the failure. So had they been asleep, it could have been a very different circumstance. Jason Herman is the Magnolia Fire Department Division Chief. We understand this is not the first run-in you all have had with this uh, lithium-ion batteries. That's correct. Our, our last run-in was tied to uh, some, some batteries that weren't on the charger. They weren't in a device. They were simply being stored in the homeowner's garage. During the October events, firefighters put the battery in a metal tin filled with water, submerging it. Hewlin and her family shaking up after the fire, but she's calling it a wake up call for her and others. I'm starting to unplug stuff. <laughs> I'm going to start, um, I guess, being, we're not going to charge any batteries <laughs> when we're sleeping or not home, <laughs> especially the lithium ones. Now, here's some tips we can all use. Make sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions for the battery usage. And the most important thing, temperature when charging them. They say you do want, not want the temperature to be below 32 degrees or above 105. Reporting live near Pinehurst, Roman Logan, KPRC 2 News.